This is the Dell U3818DW, and although it was released in the latter half of 2017, its features have yet been outdated, and with its size, it has become one of the standout monitors in the ultrawide community. Now I've been using this monitor for a few weeks now, so I just wanted to make a quick review and share some of my thoughts on this monitor with you guys. Alright, so starting with cost, the Dell U3818DW is extremely expensive. At the time of making this video, it costs anywhere from about $900 to $1200 in the US and anywhere from about $1300 to $1600 in Canada. So yeah, this is definitely not a cheap monitor. As far as specs go, the display is a curved 37.5 inch 60Hz IPS panel with a 3840x1600 resolution, which is a similar PPI to a 27 inch 1440p monitor, so sharpness is definitely not an issue here. Its typical brightness is about 300 nits, which is plenty bright for most indoor situations, and it has a gray to gray response time of about 5 milliseconds or 8 milliseconds, depending on which mode you have it set to. If you put it in fast mode, you will get a 5 millisecond response time, and if you set it to normal mode, you will get an 8 millisecond response time. The display also has a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 and has a 178 degree viewing angle. Now, the panel covers 99% of the sRGB color gamut and 78% of the DCI-P3 color space, so it's definitely very color accurate, and it shows. The colors are calibrated quite nicely out of the box, and everything seems well balanced. And although you can tweak the colors yourself from the monitor's menu, I found that the factory calibrated settings worked best for me. The monitor also has built-in dual 9 watt speakers, which surprisingly sound pretty good and can get decently loud with the volume cranked up. And without further ado, here's a quick sound test for you guys at 70% volume. So yeah, the audio sounds pretty good, but please keep in mind that the audio recording into my mic does not depict what it may sound like in real life, but it does give you a good idea of what to expect. Okay, so now let's get into the design and build quality. Overall, I think the monitor is very nicely designed. Although it may not seem like it, the majority of the monitor is made out of plastic, but Dell has done a really great job at hiding this by giving the monitor a much more premium look with this aluminum-like finish. The monitor is Visa compatible, so you can have this thing hooked up to a monitor arm or a wall mount if you wish. However, I find the stand is very sturdy, and is practical enough for most situations. You're able to tilt the monitor from 5 degrees downwards to 21 degrees facing upwards, swivel it 30 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise, and you can also adjust the height of the stand to have the monitor sit up to 11.5 centimeters above the table, which is about 4.5 inches. This monitor also features Dell's Infinity Edge display, which means you're going to have these nice thin bezels which will give this monitor a more sleek and modern look. Dell has also thrown in comfort view with this display, and essentially this filters out blue light and this puts less strain on your eyes, which I thought was pretty handy since I spent a lot of time in front of my screen. The screen is topped with an anti-glare matte coating with what Dell claims to be of 3H hardness, so if you scratch the screen by accident with something that's 1H or 2H on most scale of hardness, such as pure aluminum or lead, then it shouldn't leave a scratch on your monitor, which is a neat feature. Now I didn't have the guts to test this feature out myself, but if you want to test it out for me, then hey, by all means go ahead and let me know your results in the comments down below. As for the ports, you've got one DisplayPort 1.2, two HDMI 2.0s, two USB 3.0 upstream ports, two USB 3.0 downstream ports, a 3.5mm audio out jack, and of course the super versatile USB Type-C port. For those of you who don't know, the USB-C port is basically an all-in-one port, 
It allows you to transmit a video signal from your device to the monitor, and at the same time, the monitor will be able to send power through this cable to charge your device. On top of that, any devices such as a hard drive plugged into the USB 3.0 ports of the monitor will also be accessible from your laptop through the USB-C cable. The Type-C port on this monitor will give you 95 watts of power delivery for all devices, except for Dell laptops which are limited to only 60 watts of power delivery. Now, in most scenarios, 95 watts is more than enough power, and from personal experience, my 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro stayed fully charged when plugged into the USB-C port, even when video editing. There is also an additional two USB 3.0 downstream ports on the side which allows for easy access. So yeah, there's a lot of ports on this monitor which I'm sure many multitaskers and video editors will appreciate. The U3818DW also has built-in picture-in-picture and picture-by-picture -picture functionality with KVM support. This allows you to display the input of two computers on your screen simultaneously, and with the KVM switch, which is something you have to purchase separately, you can use a single mouse and keyboard for both of these computers. Again, just another feature that multitaskers will appreciate. Now, so far, my overall experience with the monitor has been great, but one big problem that I've discovered is that when you have the response time set to the 5 millisecond fast mode, this monitor demonstrates major banding and ghosting issues, which is kind of weird because having a faster grade to grade response time should diminish these issues, but in this case, it actually makes it worse. And unfortunately, I haven't found any real solution to this, but when I changed the response time back to the 8 millisecond normal mode, I was able to get rid of the ghosting and banding issues. So I would definitely recommend you set the response time to 8 milliseconds until Dell or someone finds a solution to this. Okay, so I've tried gaming with this thing, and as a casual gamer, I don't really have any complaints other than the fact that this monitor doesn't support FreeSync or G-Sync. But Dell never intended for this monitor to be a gaming monitor in the first place, so we can all forgive them for that. And as expected, the curvature and size of this thing really gives you that immersive gaming experience that you can't get with just a single flat screen monitor. So if you're a casual gamer like me, you'll definitely be pleased with the results. But if you're a little bit more on the competitive side, I'd steer away from this monitor and probably go with LG's 38 inch ultra wide as it has a higher refresh rate and supports FreeSync. Okay, so is the Dell U3818DW worth breaking your piggy bank for? Well, yes and no. It really depends on what your priorities are. If you're a multitasker and you're looking for a large ultra wide monitor mainly for productivity purposes and to edit videos on, then the features that this Dell monitor has to offer will be of huge convenience for you. But if you're a hardcore gamer, I'd go with something else. Overall, I found this monitor to be a joy to multitask with, edit videos on, and even casually game with. The ultra wide screen really makes a big difference. And seriously, once you go ultra wide, you'll find it hard to go back. Anyways guys, if you're interested in picking up this monitor, please consider supporting my channel by clicking on the Amazon links below. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.